Take an isolated location, add in a girl with a bloody nose and a crossbow, a devil-inspired Energizer bunny, and a bearded dude looking to make some cash, and then throw in a mysterious supernatural thriller vibe, and you get the 2020 Irish movie Caveat. Now, it's written and directed by the same guy who just brought us Oddity, which I did do a review of. So, should you add this one to your watch list? A lone drifter suffering from partial memory loss accepts a job to look after a psychologically troubled woman in an abandoned house on an isolated island. So this takes place in pretty much a single location. And just like with his follow-up to this movie, director Damian McCarthy, he immediately uses the setting and the set design to establish the dark and foreboding vibe that's going to carry throughout the film. Now here, we follow this guy named Isaac, who gets a job from an acquaintance of his to go to this house and then watch over a niece. She's got some psychological issues which necessitate some concessions and requirements for Isaac to adhere to in order to keep the gig. Now, most of us would nope out of there right away, but Isaac, he stays, and that's when this distressing tale really gets going. Now, I'm in love with the set design of this broken down house on the isolated island. The house, it's in utter shambles, holes in walls, moldy crevices, and then this general lack of illumination, it all works to make this about as uncomfortable as it can be. And despite the house appearing fairly small, there are a surprising number of areas in which shadowy things can creep. I mean, the areas, they're filthy and uninviting, making you genuinely question why anybody would ever want to set a foot inside, especially after we learn more about the family lore. And just like with his follow-up movie, Oddity, McCarthy uses the less is more approach to instill chills and fear. We get small glimpses of things that are just plain wrong, but more often than not, it's what we don't see that creates the goosebumps. The production effectively uses darkness to just create dread, allowing the characters only flashlights to then find their way, using that narrow field of vision really to just build suspense. I mean, we watch the beam slowly pan across a room, waiting with apprehension if there's going to be something to jump out at us. And it's the anticipation, I think, that's almost worse than what we might see. Now, this is patiently told, and it doesn't feel long either, and it's only 88 minutes, and the time is efficiently used. Now, I think that can hurt the storytelling somewhat, though. I mean, not in the shortness itself or the patience, but some elements they lack needed development if the story is going to be more deep and impactful. I mean, we're given enough background to understand what's transpiring, but motives and actions, they would be more resonant with just a better sense of why. Now, I was impressed with the mystery portion of the story. Unlike Oddity, Caveat obscures some of the intrigue and then makes it much less obvious or predictable. And not all of the arcs are unpredictable, though. I mean, one or two, though, they did manage to surprise me. Now, as far as the horror element goes in this, there are some visuals that can make your skin crawl. And the funny thing is that I could intuit most of what would happen in small instances. That didn't reduce the dread or the effect that the sequence had on me. I mean, I think these were as effective as they were, just thanks to the restrained performance by Johnny French, who plays Isaac. There are moments when he needs to remain quiet, despite something utterly horrifying occurring near him. As the camera pans from one area to another and then repeats this several times, the distress I was feeling, it just kept growing, almost becoming unbearable because I knew something was about to happen that I wasn't going to enjoy, but I couldn't tear my eyes away from the screen. And in these moments, the production, it doesn't disappoint. There's nothing overly demonstrative in terms of visuals or actions, but because we can imagine what's about to take place, that mental image is enough to disturb us. Now, as for as much as Johnny French is a standout in this as Isaac, the production wouldn't be nearly as good without Layla Sykes as Olga. She's the niece that Isaac goes to look after. She has a very unsettling demeanor. I mean, she's not scary or horrific. She's timid barely speaks, really doesn't do much, but she has this one signature stance that she does and it instantly creates apprehension. She executes this in such a mesmerizing but frightful way that it almost seems as though she's in some sort of trance, just possessed by her mind that won't allow her to function on our plane. And then at other times, she's alert and moving through the house, but still with this look that just gave me the creeps. I mean, she has a determination to her that informs us that she has way more going on inside her head than she's given credit for. And the underestimated ones, they're always the ones that you need to watch out for, right? So at the end of this, Caveat has a satisfying and dark premise, carried out by performances that quietly elicit chills and discomfort. Beautifully decrepit set designs wonderfully create an atmosphere of dread, helping the mystery aspect to be intriguing despite some overly predictable story elements. The narrative could benefit from more character and motive development, 
but as it stands, the unsettled emotion of the execution is disturbingly enjoyable. The less is more approach to visuals, it's commendable, relying on performances to instill fear rather than cheap and ineffective jump scares. This is currently streaming on AMC Plus in the US, so if you're into some patient thrills, give Caveat a go. There's no sex or nudity, some profanity, and some violence. I give Caveat three and a half out of five couches. So what are some quiet or unsettling horrors or maybe thrillers that you enjoy? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.